Hi, everybody. This is Professor Monty. We're going to look at annuities today. And what an annuity is, it's a sequence of equal payments made at equal time periods. So for example, if we're making deposits into re a retirement account, that would be an annuity. So as opposed to a single payment and then seeing how much money it's worth at the end of a certain time period, we're making continuous time period payments of equal amounts and we wanna see how much they're worth. So if we let A equal the amount at the end that we're gonna end up with, and PMT is the periodic payment or deposit we make. Sometimes they just list that as P instead of PMT. I'm gonna to try to stay with PMT to separate it from what we did with the P that was just the initial deposit when we did either simple or compounded interest. Okay, so we've got two formulas for the amount at the end. The first one is if we're just doing annual payments. So payment once a year at the end of the year, the compounding is just once a year at the end of the year. And you'll notice the amount of payment or the frequency of the payment and the frequency of the compounding have to match for these formulas you see on the screen to work. So the first one is if we're just doing it once a year, so annually. And as you can see, kind of a complicated formula. I'll do another video where that I'll link to the end of this video where I'll show some examples of these two formulas. And we'll talk about how we plug these into our calculator and how they work. So this first formula you see, the A is just for annual payment and compounding. If we have periodic compounding n times a year, then we have a slightly different formula. And just like our compound interest formula before with the periodic n times a year compounding, we have r divided by n a couple times, and then n times t as our exponent. So those are the formulas to find the amount at the end. If we're looking specifically for how much the payment needs to be, if we know the amount that we want to have at the end, then we've got another formula, I have that list down here. And so the payment is equal to a times r over n divided by that big thing on the bottom. Okay, again, that one is for payment and compounding n times per year. So that's the idea. We're going to use these formulas. I'll leave that up on the screen here in case you just want to look at it on the screen, maybe take a picture, write those formulas down on a note card, whatever the case is, so that you'll have those. We will be needing to have those formulas. We'll be using those in the next two videos I do. One video just finding A, and another video finding the payment 